I'm George Klein, and we're talking with Mr. Gene Doucette. Gene was with the Bill Ballou organization out in Los Angeles that was responsible for Elvis's stage wear in the, in the years and when he went back on stage, if you will, uh, you know, 70, 71, all the way to 77. Now, Gene, what I want to ask you is, we've talked a lot about the design, the nail heads and, and all of that, but let me ask, let me put you on the spot now. Do you not, did, did Elvis, and I think he did, I could be wrong, but I know why, he liked the high collar. Well, actually, the high collar uh, came came uh, started with uh, the two-piece leather outfit that uh, Bill Blue had done for that wonderful TV special. Um, the height of it, the shape of it, is very Edwardian. It managed to frame his face in such a way that it would cut right to his jawbone, bring down, accent his neck. He had a good neck, a good strong chin, and that particular cut collar framed him so perfectly that it was brought on into all of the jumpsuits later on. Okay, now, the reason I ask that, I happen to be privileged to know that Elvis thought he had a long neck. And if you'll notice from the Jimmy Dean days, Rebel Without a Cause, the turned up collar, there's a lot of pictures where Elvis turns that collar up to shade his neck. Now, well, I wonder if he passed that along to Bill Ballou. Uh, it's quite <clears throat> possibly, when, when you're designing for someone, and you're designing, you're, you're designing on a very personal level, the whole idea is the outfit that you design is there to support them, make them feel comfortable, make them feel at their best. Elvis had a very excellent build. He had nice square shoulders, a perfect V, decent waist. He had a long structure. He had good long legs. Elvis had a long neck, but he had a graceful neck. He had, it was a very masculine neck, but it was the kind of neck, a lot of people could not have carried that look. 